Hey everybody, hope you're having a good Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, or maybe Friday night as it may be. Uh, I've had a few late Friday nights in my time, so I can understand if you are up this late. But if you are, or just have a little insomnia and wondering about these storms, just kind of keeping track of the radar here. And we're looking at storms developing right now. Uh, just to the west of the tri-states, well, they're actually kind of creeping in. There is a few areas of development that uh, kind of keeping an eye on. One is actually in the Keokuk area here. Um, that's kind of heading towards the McDonough County area and uh, could affect parts of, let's see, Schuyler County and Cass County down the line here. Also, some storms earlier for... Uh, looks like Monroe County and Audrain County that has since moved out and weakened and now we're actually watching more storms kind of form just to the west here uh, through Schuyler County Missouri Adair County and uh, Macon County Missouri so there are a few areas of development and none of these are severe at the time just some heavy downpours a lot of lightning with them so uh, if you are seeing this don't be too startled uh, I'm not expecting widespread severe, maybe an isolated severe event here too, but I'm not thinking it's going to be too big of a deal. Now we'll just go ahead and throw on some tracks here just so you can see uh, when they might come into your neighborhood. We'll throw on a few tracks. So if, for example, if this northern line holds together, uh, let's call it 30 miles per hour. They're moving quite slowly right now, so we're going to say... Let's get this out of the way. If you live in any of these communities, Queen City here in the next few minutes, it's moving into uh, Greensburg um, in about, what is that, 40 minutes, and then possibly in the early uh, 6 a.m. time frame, Sand Hill, Gorin. We'll clear out that, and then we'll, let's do this area. We'll do a track from um, Kirksville area. Whoops, that's not what we want. We'll do a track here from the Kirksville area also to the south at 30 miles per hour and that looks like it's going to affect Edina by 6 in the morning of Brashear 540. I feel like I've called out a lot of these names a lot uh, over the past few months and I apologize if I am pronouncing some of these towns incorrectly but uh, Brashear 539, Herdland 547, Locust Hill 553, Edina just around 6 in the morning and let's go ahead and put a track on the bottom part of that line and they're kind of moving southeast and they're not they're not quite holding together so it's kind of difficult to discern uh, when they might be in your area but here we go uh, Shelbina by 6 in the morning um, let's see what is that Kellogg just a few minutes from now Clarence in about 20 minutes and uh, Lintner in just a little over half an hour Shelbina by 6 o'clock and we'll actually put a query on these storms up here near Keokuk right now because these guys are kind of sinking to the southeast at 30 miles per hour as well. And looks like uh, Camden 545, Littleton 554. Rushville, you guys are in line possibly. If these storms hold together by roughly just a little past 6 in the morning, so another, well, a little, little less than an hour here so we'll continue to keep an eye on these uh, again I don't think it's going to be a big severe threat I think uh, we're looking at more of just a heavy rain lightning threat might wake you up in the middle of well the night I guess it's the morning now <laughs> not even sure but um, stay tuned to KHQA and uh, if you have any questions I'm here and I will gladly answer them on Facebook or Twitter